<laughs> That's where my liver is. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna go. So, everybody, you got your drinks and everything. Yeah. All right, are we ready? All right, everybody. Welcome to a live edition of Saints Happy Hour podcast. If the audio is not good, I blame the people who made the commitment to get Thomas here. He's not here. He's in Poland asleep. So that happened. But I want to thank everybody, all the patrons who gave us this booze here. Uh, this is incredible. I, I can't name you all. Stand up if you do, if you donate booze. Stand up. Yeah. Applaud these people. Woo. It's not annual because we missed a couple years, but this is the fourth live show we've done thanks to Andrew at Sports Drink. It's been amazing. Uh, and Errol and his wife, they're videoing their truck. He's, He's over there. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, they're going to video. We're going to try to have a quality audio and video without a metronome this year. <laughs> Hope we don't make any promises. Dave, Kevin, Andrew, how y'all doing? Which one of these are you drinking? Oh, I don't know. He has to combine two of them. Oh, into one. That, was, that was a specific request for these two, but he doesn't have to do that tonight. But I don't know. I feel like Can you something. Speak to the combination, real quick. Well, that's he. Oh, he wanted that to be. That's a barbecue and and a menthol. They're two different. I <laughs> wanted it to be like a menthol cigarette. He thought it would taste like a menthol cigarette. You hate me. You hate me more than you hate the egg. God. Uh, I mean, yes, but I think, no. uh, you know, we don't have a way to it's accept donations show. tonight, but well, I think at some point you should drink one of these. I mean, to, I'll drink for two. For posterity, to keep the, the streak alive. We don't want the streak to die. I'll drink two of them. I'll drink two of them. Oh, oh, oh. I'll drink two. I don't know if you know how bargaining works. Uh, <laughs> you're doing this wrong. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So listen. <laughs> I'll, at the end of the at the end of the night, I'll have no shirt, no money, and this and this all will be empty. So here's the thing: we got first. I want to talk about this. The vibes are bad for the Saints. Let's be real. It's the, the, the resale market is terrible, and people aren't happy. And they're going to go to the dome. Probably like forty percent of the people are going to be mad going to the dome. They're going to want to boo DA. They're going to want to boo De Derek Carr. But I'm going to say this: I'm not asking you guys what will happen Sunday. I want you to tell me what's the funniest outcome Sunday at 3.30. Kevin, you going to go first? Jesus. Why do I have to go first? I, I have something. Okay, okay. No, you, this you is go. what happens when you, you actually go. give me the rundown and I can actually... Yeah, okay. ahead of time. Uh, I was eating my Bon Me boys across the street and hey. thinking about these questions and yeah, I was looking at the Carolina Panthers depth chart and um, I didn't realize this. I don't know how many people realize this, but Shy Tuttle is their starting defensive tackle. I thought Former it, Saint. Correct. Thank, well, thank, I think we all knew that. I think no, everybody sure everybody does that. Uh, My family does it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, and I thought it would be funny if Shy Tuttle did the same thing to Derek Carr that he did to no. Matt Ryan. You know? <laughs> that would not be funny! And then, and then, at the end of the game, since you wanted, since you asked for 3:30 specifically, at 3:30 at, at the end of the game, Dennis Allen would apologize to, for Derek Carr for getting in the way of, of Shad Tuttle. Oh, that's that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> My funniest out. Would that not be funny? Dark. That that's dark. That boo it, boo it, boo it. I have dark humor. No, no. The funniest out. The funniest outcome. Saints win 48 to 17 with five seconds left. Taysom scores his fifth touchdown. Amen. And after the game, they say, Taysom, why did you score the fifth touchdown from the three-yard line? And he says, it was a team decision. <laughs> <laughs> DA apologizes to Dave Canales. And on Monday, Dave Canales is fired. <laughs> That's how we both have DA apologizing in our answers. That's, That's definitely <laughs> something, there's something there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the funniest uh, And by the way, take some five touchdowns, that would be great for my fantasy team. Thanks. Andrew, what, what well, Kevin, do you have something? No, not yet. I'm still formulating. <laughs> still formulating. I'm like a deer. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Funny is not my strength. I'm more of the analytical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So make up some please, data. So please go. Honestly, I like the idea 
of the Saints scraping by and DA suddenly talking like a big man about it. <laughs> and having a lot of irrational confidence. Yeah. Like, we like, we like, made it happen. Exactly. Like Derek Carr going 10 of 24 for like a buck 12. Kamara getting like four rushes for 22 yards. And the defense, the defense is what wins them the game. And DA just is at the podium. Hammering the podium, we played tough, da, da, da. we made the plays at the right time, we're going to get better on offense. He's just, think Tom Coughlin, think Tom Coughlin in that giant season where he was telling everybody, get on board the elevator now. Get on now. I want what, what that. Is the, I what is the going to get us on board? Is he going to get Listen, on board? I don't, I don't know what we're getting on board. I don't know what we're boarding. But he's just telling everybody to get on board. I want, like, irrational confidence from Did Dennis Allen. Sure, why not? Is that even possible? You, listen, you said what would be the funniest outcome. I think DA being ri ridiculously overconfident at three at three forty five actually when he's fielding questions from the media uh, would be hysterical. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I think I got it. I like that. Saints win forty eight to forty five. <laughs> so it's it's like a gunslinging wow. affair. Are you guys with me? So everyone thinks like, yeah, we're feeling good about the defense. The offensive line is terrible. We're not going to score any points. Derek Carr, yada yada. But Derek Carr lights the world on fire. He throws five touchdown passes. It's forty-eight. The offensive line road grades Carolina. I mean, they run for two hundred and fifty yards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but but it's not Camara. It's like Jordan Mims. <laughs> he, he runs for over a hundred yards, and but but so it's like it, that would be too much leaning on Kubiak being amazing, yeah. which would double down on Da being awful. So it's forty eight forty five. It's the offense tearing it up, but the game ends with the defense winning it. So it has, to be, it has to be like DA flexing that, like, yeah, my 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 scheme won the game in, in the final two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and then DA would come to the podium, you feel me? My defense was good. You feel me? <laughs> and DA is, like, officially, like, the, the butt of this team, I guess. I mean, listen, <laughs> DA, he's not exciting, but... I'll tell you what, he's not exciting, but but I I'm rooting for him. I want him to not be fired. Whoa! What am I Halloween? What do you want I to would, say? Listen, Halloween. I would prefer I would prefer to say I want the team to do well, and thus if the team does well, sure he won't get fired. I, it's just weird saying I don't want him to get fired. I don't want him. He seems nice. <laughs> Listen, wait. What did we? What were, were, were we all saying? We liked Sean Payton because he was an asshole, but he yes. was our asshole. Yeah. 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 That's right. Right. Dennis Allen's asshole. Asshole. He's like, right. Dennis Allen is just like He's the opposite of that. Right. Like he's milk toast. The, yeah. The one thing about NFL coaches is we want NFL coaches to have qualities that we would hate if they were our boss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact, like we want a we want a raging, yeah, detail-oriented asshole right. as the coach, but like for like, a boss, we don't want that. But like, who are the most likable coaches of the last I don't know 24, 25 years? What Dick Vermeil and maybe Andy Reid? <laughs> And that's the list. Tony Dungy. Tony Dungy no. yeah. oh, yeah. will yeah. yeah. fuck himself. Yeah. I'll say yeah. 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 He, yeah. Tomas, yeah. you can check the timestamp on that. Tony Dungy, don't fuck yourself. What did he do to you? What did he touch you? Dungy knows what he's doing. So, I was talking to you. We have a we have a celebrity here. Nick Underhill's here. I was talking to you. And a phone. Call that. Call that. Call that. People. We should have aired the Nicole Kidman video before this. I told you. I told you. But no, I, here's the thing. What is the mood going to be like in the Dome? Because people on Twitter are like, we hate this team. We're going to boo. And I, my part of me is like, Twitter is not real life. People, it's the opening game. We're going to wake up Sunday. We're going to put on our Saints game. And we're going to be happy going to the Dome. And we're not going to boo them like they're over the fool. But there's a little part of me that's like two, three and outs, or the Saints fall behind ten to nothing, and it's gonna get 
ugly. So what's what's the mood gonna be like Sunday? All right. Well, first of all, the calling out of Nick and then segueing to that was weird. It was. My <laughs> <laughs> transition <laughs> made no sense. When did my transition ever make sense? Are you new here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do. So the the Superdome crowd is not Twitter, but it, if. Car goes three and out, back to back drives, and let's say the Saints are down ten nothing. I do think the temperament is going to get ugly quick. So I do think it's incumbent on the Saints to get off to a good start, get the crowd into it. I think if they're up ten seven, the vibes will be good, the crowd will be into it, and we'll we'll embrace the moment. But if it gets dark quick, dark quick. I think the Superdome's gonna get real quiet or boo. Are you gonna boo? No, I would never. Is Colin gonna boo? Maybe. My son will boo. My son will definitely boo. He will be calling for Derek. That's the problem, Amy, with these young fans, Uh is they're spoiled. They think it's Super Bowl or bust. There's all these things that happen in between Super Bowl and 1 in 16. Right? Where you can have an enjoyable season. The fans can have fun. It's true. You can make the playoffs, win a game, and then lose, and like have That's kind amazing. of a bad draft pick, but like, hey, that was fun. You know? But the, the <laughs> fans of today, they don't get that. It's like, if we're not building towards a Super Bowl, I would rather lose every game and get the first pick. That's not reality. That's not real life. If they, if they start down, it's going to be quiet. They continue down, there will be so I, well, I agree. If, you, okay. I agree. if they lose the game, then it will be the last. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, you, you, you mentioned the scenario. Hold oh, on. Before you keep going, we're playing the Carolina Panthers. Yes. Yeah. Like, if we don't win this game, the season is fucked. That's Talk about prisoner of the moment. Talk about prisoner of the moment. I feel like I have taken possession of the end of the body. That's, a, that's, a, that's the most Ralph take you've ever seen in your life. Uh, but I mean, you know, look, there, there is some truth to that. I was just reading uh, all of the Sports Illustrated had uh, taken all the links of all the experts and everybody picked the Saints. In fact, at the bottom of their thing, they were like, we can show you more, but it's all more of the same, just people picking the Saints like we are in heavily favored yeah. this. We should not be losing this game. Well, should well, have this decision the game. Carolina is but, off. But 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 Andrew Andrew says if, if they go Saints are off. Andrew says if they go three and out a few times and they're down ten to nothing. But like, what if they just go three and out a few times, but it's like zero zero? Are they that like there's a there's a middle ground there? And I want to know are they are they going there? That's the most predictable outcome. Okay. Okay. No. But well, no. But then but then. Here's me with, with all these questions. Is Derek Carr... Hey, well, you raised a question. I'm giving you an answer in the form of more questions. So I can then make an informed decision. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Enjoy your... Your Ron Swanson answer your question with a question. Yes. Um, is Derek Carr completing passes? Is Derek Carr... Yes, yes is three, Derek, three yards at a time. Yes. I, listen, is Derek Carr <laughs> completing passes? Are we moving down the thing? Is it literally just three plays punt? Or is it Here's six, what this hypothetical plays? drive looks like. First and ten, three-yard pass to Camara. Okay. Second and seven, one-yard run by Jordan Mims. Okay. Third and six... Four yard pass to Jawan Johnson. That, that is the most unrealistic thing I've ever heard. Like, where's the pen and penalty? Fourth and, fourth and two. Well, that was declined because that was on third down. Fourth and two punt. Disgusting. He has completed two passes on that first. On that first. In this hypothetical, <laughs> he's two for two for six this, yards. In this hypothetical, yeah. I am not booing a, two, a man who has thrown two for two. I'm not booing that. So in this hypothetical, you, are you dating a nurse? If you start a nurse, right. 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 I'm sitting in a box dating, that's dating, that's dating, that's dating, that's dating a doctor, okay? So let's the call Italian, The Italian one he likes. That's right. Somewhere, Thomas is playing Snacking on Italian tapas. <laughs> so, here's the thing. I want to keep this positive. As people know, I want to be positive about this. Hey, Budrich is here. Budrich. Get ready, Budrich. It's almost trivia time. I'm all ready. So, hey, Budrich's dad is here, too. Butter, yeah. Podcasting legend. So, here's the thing. I want... 
Kevin, you can start. Your favorite Saints season opener. Because I want to bring up the vibes. I don't like all this negativity. The Saints are tied for first as we do this podcast. Yay! <laughs> 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 I, I love I, I love that. That's great. And I gotta pull it up right here. So I was mulling. I went and looked at every single season opener. Jesus. From like the last I don't know thirty years or so. And nice. I'm trying way too much research. No, I, I did not, unfortunately, and now I'm having trouble. While, while he's researching I, I, no, that, I got it. I got hold it. on, fun fact. Did you know that the Saints have won five straight season openers? Yeah, that's incredible. They are Yay. the opposite of LSU. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, so, it, is it time for two lane talk? No, it's not. No, it's not time for two lane talk. Two lane talk. We will let you know okay. this time. So look, at look, at look at his face. He's like, right. no, 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 not interested. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your favorite Saints opener, Kevin. So my favorite here. Saints opener, September 9th, 2010. Okay. The oh. season opener at home against the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, yeah. Oh. So drop. It is the, it's the Super Bowl celebration. The banner goes up. You host the first game of the season. You beat and for and it's my birthday. Yes. Oh. It's, oh. You beat Brett Favre because welfare cheat. Fuck Brett Favre. We get, Tomas, you can put the timestamp on that one too. See, I got a list of people I don't like. <laughs> and and Kevin, nobody holds a grudge like Kevin. You cross him, it's like in 1987. Brother, it, brother it, it, you think he's joking? He's not. <laughs> he's not um, at all. And, and we won this game scoring only 14 points. Incredible. If you would have told any Minnesota Vikings fan coming into this game, you will hold the Saints to 14 points with a prolific offense that's coming off of a Super Bowl yes. on national television. They would have all taken it and they would all be fucking disappointed at the end of the night. I love the idea of winning a game, of winning your home opener, barely scoring. That's right. I love that. When you think, oh my god, we've got Brett Favre. We've got the legend. I know he's coming off of a great season in which he got beat up and, and there was this whole bounty thing. But, oh, they, we were cheated out of this. You're talking about. Correct. But I'm saying you're coming seven. into, you're coming, 14-9. 14-9. You're coming off of all that, and oh man, we've got we've got the Saints right where we want them, and you blow it. Yeah. <laughs> not only, not only do the Saints win on my birthday, they embarrass the Falcons, their biggest rival in the conference at that point, and hold them to nine points. I, I enjoy that for that reason. There were a few other games I could have mentioned. I could have mentioned. I could have mentioned. No, I, feel I like said the Vikings. the Vikings. Sorry, the Vikings. No, I, like I could have mentioned the Packers. I yeah. could have mentioned the Packers. On brand. No, I feel like I'm already done. Cut him off. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off. So I could have mentioned 38 3 Packers, but that was in 2000. But that was 2022. That was right so before Dave, everything fell in hell for me. So, Dave, you go next with your favorite season opener, and I'm going to do a shot with my good hand. <laughs> hey, real quick, real quick before Dave goes, I, I want to give a shout out to, there, there's a lot of alcohol in front of us, which is obviously not healthy for our livers or our long-term health, uh, but I want to give a shout out to Errol, he's over there, he's waving, he, he's hooked us up with some really fancy stuff, including some uh, caviar for me and some, I feel like he's, he gave me some, some truffled cheese, I feel like he's one of my fraternity brothers, like, doubling down on humiliating me so for being bougie. People give Andrew um, caviar and, like, top-of-the-line yeah. champagne. People give me ego brunch in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> I should tell you a little bit about, uh, you know. Spam with cheese. So shout out to him. We also have some amazing beers. Where 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 are you, Nikolai? There he is. These are half of ices that we're drinking. Actually, if you want to try one, they're right here, uh, below me. They're not cold though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There he goes. Go ahead, Doctor Doctor McKillicuddy. Go ahead. Oh, get the bottle. 
Now get the bucket. Get the bucket. No, 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 no. Don't touch that. That's my champagne. Barbecue whiskey now. Where? Where can you? If only there was some kind of container. You can throw up. Thank you. I'm out of influence. Uh, but, but, you know, the, it's a warmer up, Mr. Juice. So, so we, we appreciate all the booze, we but do. more importantly, you know, I, I think... Where was that on the puke meter? We didn't get it. Yeah, it's a warm-up. Whoa. 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 Uh, we've been doing this for a while now. This is our fourth year doing a live podcast. Incredible. To the point now where I recognize pretty much everyone in here. Crazy. And I feel like the first time it was overwhelming, like I knew nobody in here yeah, that, other than my family members, honestly. I know you guys. Uh, seriously. Those faces are rare. I'm going to say something. Seriously, all you guys, you make our podcast happen. It is a serious commitment to you guys to support us. And we've been doing this for how long? Since 12? 12 years? 12 with you, but like Kevin and Dave, 17? No. What? Yeah. No. 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 15. 15. 2009. 2009? Alright. 15. 15. 15. 15. But it's you guys that make it happen. Because there's, there's like a... There's like a... 5,000 Saints podcasts. You can listen to all anyone you want. But you come here, you support us, we thank you. Okay. So back, so anyway, Kumbaya, we love you. Kumbaya, you're, you're the greatest, we're the worst. You're attractive. Yeah, we're, you're attractive, we're not very good looking. Uh, Apparently you have nothing better to do on a Friday yeah. night. I don't know. Uh, back to the question at, at hand. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about the best season opener. Uh, I was with my dad a few years ago in the Falcon Stadium. This is when Jameis broke his back. Uh, so th this was more recent. Dr. Sitter, you get back in the enemy. But uh, the Saints won. Uh, it was. Uh, yeah. It came down to the wire. Jameis yeah. threw a couple touchdown passes. 27, that, 26. Right? Yeah. Uh, and. The Saints fans were ushering Falcons fans out of the stadium, standing in the concourses okay. on right. tables, Boom. waving towels, doing the whole uh, thing. Tell, yeah. tell the people what you Second did. Round. You called me from the stadium. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to tell them what you told you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. <laughs> you said there are Saints fans on tables ushering those motherfuckers yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> but what was interesting is they, they, the Falcons fans were so, like, they were so demure. They were like, yeah, you beat us again. Like, yeah. they, there was no confrontation. There was no anger. There was no, like, I'm going to kick your ass. Like, even though Saints fans were in their stadium, they were like, yep, you did it again. Like, no, it was like me trying to juggle. They were yeah. defeated. Yeah, they were defeated. <laughs> um, so, so that comes to mind. Another opener that comes to mind. Now, now I'm going way back. Whoa, you're going off. This, 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 is, this is for our old heads. Some of you might remember this. 1991? Yeah. Ooh. 1991. This is one of my first Saints games of my life. And I'll never forget there, were, there was money exchanging hands. It came down to a field goal at the end, and I saw $200 exchange hands between guys that bet on the game. And I was like, holy shit, world of possibilities. <laughs> like, but uh, as a little kid. But um, this was Saints Seahawks. And you want to talk about worlds collide. John Casey was a rookie kicker for the Seahawks. Alan, I see you shaking your head. You know exactly yeah, what I'm talking He knows the whole story. He does, yeah. But uh, John Casey is a rookie kicker for the Seahawks. He would later kick for the Saints many years later. Um, but Morton Anderson makes a kick. The Saints are behind. Bobby Bear throws a touchdown pass to Floyd Turner. I know you know that that's name. That's right. Uh, the Saints come from behind. Morton Anderson makes a kick. And the Seahawks are driving down to win the game, and at the end, John Casey has like a 50-yard kick to win, he misses, and the Saints win, and it was one of those moments where, for me as a young kid, one of my first games ever, I was like, this is it. Pat's like, I, Yeah, Pat's willing, it was, it, but, but it was more like, uh, yeah. when, when you go to those games, it is, it is impactful as a young man or, or boy, like experiencing that and a win in the final seconds, yeah. And the experience of the fans going nuts, that was this, like, moment for me of just, okay, yeah. this is what it's all about, being all a Saints right. fan. All right, mine is, I tried to connect a favorite one of mine, but I think it, connect, I think it connects to this season. 1993, 
Bobby Hebert had left the Saints and gone to the Falcons, and the Saints got Wade Wilson at quarterback, and everybody was like, oh, oh my God, God, who the hell is Wade Wilson? We are going to be trash. We're playing the Oilers, the Super Bowl favorites in the AFC at the time. And by the way, this was a Sunday night game on TNT, if you're old enough to remember that, before they had Sunday Night Football on NBC and ESPN. They did it on TNT. Alan knows this one too. He's a fucking Rolodex over here. He's like, yep, yep. I can tell the story. One thirty. How many toothpicks are in the box, Alan? The Saints won 33-21. to Frank Warren, rest in peace, scooped up a fumble. And it was just Lorenzo Neal, Derek Brown ran for like 200 combined yards. And it was just like, oh my God, it's going to be okay. We got Wade Wilson at quarterback. It's going to be fine. We don't need Bobby Aver. It's gonna, everything's going to be okay. And it wasn't. But in that moment, that's, it felt like it, 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 felt like like it, it would. Yeah. And that's what I need Sunday. In places I don't want to talk about, I know it's not going to be okay with DA. I know it's not. But I need Sunday to walk out, Voyager Street, feel that air, and just go, we kicked the shit out of the One and oh, baby. <laughs> One and oh. One and oh. On the Woo! Woo! Yeah. So, yeah. Woo! Ralph mentioned the NFL on TNT. I had to look this up for myself. So, in 1993, your NFL on TNT uh, personalities were, you had Gary Bender doing Ooh. the play-by-play, -play. you had what? Pat you had Pat Hayden on color. Your sideline reporter was a young fellow by the name of Craig Sager. Oh, yeah. Your studio host, Bob Neal, along with analysts Kevin Kiley. Do you remember? No. Yeah. And that was it. Like, your analysts were Larry K or uh, Kevin Kiley. That was it. No, that's 1995. So I'm trying to get in the 1993 zone. So, yeah, so the, the booth of Gary Bender, Pat Hayden, and Craig Sager. There you go. That's right. So we can sell those. No blackout. These these kids today, man, they don't know about like when you would like watch the news on Thursday and be like, did they sell enough tickets to beat the blackout? Yeah. Oh, they got. Oh no, they got an extension. They don't give them an extension. I remember that well. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going last. Uh, you know, originally I, I, the 2022 game with Jameis is broken back. That was pretty awesome. Uh, I was going to go you with that You watched that on TV. Yeah, I was yeah. there. Sorry, sorry. I was there. Sorry. Me a couple, me a couple. Me a couple. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were uh, there. And, uh, okay, well, yeah, he, he paid for your tickets, bro. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, and I would have also said the 2010 game. I was there for that one. Uh, I was also your there. Your holiness. Okay, I was also there. there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, since, but since you guys went through, I was going to say just because I felt like it needed to be mentioned, 1967, the opener, opener. I feel like oh, I wasn't there. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, born yet. Yeah. Right. But I feel like that Great was probably call. a pretty good game. Uh, we had somebody call. there who's, uh, who's a copping to Great be there. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. yeah. You were at the first Saints game? Ran back. Kill you. 1967? Yeah. Yeah. You were there? Yeah. My father You were there? No. You were there. My daddy took me. I never knew that. Wow. There you go. You learn something new and others were never there. That's incredible. I was on the fly. Hey, hey, hey. Were you there? I think you were. My daddy didn't take one. Wait a minute. I was like, 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 I gambled my son's future and you could do select it like soccer money. <laughs> and you could do it on your phone here. Yeah. You don't have to go meet your bookie at the gas station. <laughs> uh, look, Kevin, can you give me an update on the game? Uh, yeah, uh, three nothing Packers. Yeah. Three nothing Packers. Jalen Hurts threw a pick. Jesus, Kevin. It's a good thing I picked him as my fancy Wait a minute, can I just finish? Anyway, I was going to say 2005 against the Carolina Panthers after Katrina, the first game back. We won that game. We have no idea. John yeah. Carney. Yes, and we were all hopeful, like, oh my god, maybe this will be like a miracle I year, and then we shut yeah. the bed the rest yes. of the season. Yeah. Yeah. And we went 3 and 13, I think, and it was terrible. No, that's 2006. That was 2006. Alright, so Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Which was also a great opener, because I was like, give me some luck. 
got two touchdowns against the Browns. I got, I got, the Browns. I got and play, uh, Kevin, I got player wagers. I got over unders. Give me some updates on, on Eagles. Uh, on on Brazil? Brazil? All right, so let's see. Uh, Brazil occupies half of the South American landmass. <laughs> <laughs> that is not! At least 15% of the world's biodiversity. Mute him! No? Okay. And, uh, Somebody pay $50 and mute Kevin. While we're talking about stuff that no one cares about, can I get a uh, U.S. Open update on Fred Siapo? Oh, yeah. Siapo, 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 Brad, keep your eyes on that. We're going to need updates on that on the red. All right, guys. What is, what's the deal with the football game? Chris is up 2 one in the second set. Oh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Andrew, can we get the U.S. Open on this screen? No, no. 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 We're not having television on. Yeah. What All right. right. So, <laughs> so here's the thing. Budrich is always a pro on our podcast. He does trivia. He does an amazing job. So I said, but he said, I'm coming to show. I said, Budrich, you got to do trivia. Give me three trivia questions, but... Andrew, open the envelope and show the people the stick stickers. I only have one good arm. <laughs> <laughs> so if you answer the trivia question correct, you get Jim Mora stickers. Look at this. Amazing. If you listen, you have, a, you have a spouse you don't like, they do something you don't know, take that sticker off, smack it on their forehead. I mean, think of the fun you could have. So, Butter, yeah, come here. Don't listen around. I'm terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it clean. Bonus questions if interested, too. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. What's first stop? Here's first uh, trivia questions. Probably pretty easy to see what I was talking about. Prior to Sean Payne becoming head coach, how many season openers did they win? Not many, uh, not many. That's a goal in radio. Yeah, we're not, not many. Totally. You only need to hit yes. numbers between one and thirty-nine. Oh God! Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody take a guess. Fourteen. Fourteen. Seven. 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 Dude, no. It's the same. One to five in a row. You all go. Prior to Sean Payton. Prior to Sean Payton. So anywhere from sixty-seven. Is this Price Is Right rules? I'm gonna go last. How many? One dollar. One dollar. What's the total number of games? One. So total thirty-nine games. Thirty-nine before he was the fortieth. Because in 2006, it was a four. Negative four. So it's between right. 1 and 39. Five. 13. Negative 12. 7. 8. Alright, somebody stand up and make a guess. 3. I five. say 7. 7. Is it 7? It's not 7. Yeah. One more guess. Yes. What do you yes. got? You. I five. 5. 5. So not five. Five. So five. 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 How much? Over or under half? Three. He says 3. Over or under half? It's not 3. Four. I'll tell you right now, it's going to shock y'all. It is in the double digits. Oh, oh. oh okay. All right, yeah. 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 Y
Who was the first team the Saints beat in the Superdome? Holy smokes. That was in 1975. Oh, he's giving us that. You got it. Paul, where are you? Hey, you say? Say? Hey, Paul, where are you? Say? Say? Hey, Paul, where are you? Hey, Paul, where are So she's the one recording it on VHS? Yeah! yeah. 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 that was her dad. Yeah. 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 All right, before we get to audience questions and Kevin's love update, before we get to that, oh. I can't wait for that. The love about the doctor? No. The love update. The love update. You didn't, the the you, didn't, you didn't know you want, you didn't want, but you're going to get. Um, so before we get to that and audience questions, I want to ask you guys, we talked about the Saints' mood, we talked about the game, but I want to ask you this. Who in this year of a player would be the most fun this is that they had? It is on the run there. We're going off script. I'm going to call it an audible. What is a player that would personally give you enjoyment, the most enjoyment for the Saints' 2024 season? If they were good. Trevor Penning. Trevor Penning. Okay. I'm going to shit you need. And it's his UDFA son, yes. and he can just brag about it all year long about That's how, right. how he picked Rashid Shaheed. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm changing my answer. Matthew Hayball. Oh. Yes. <laughs> That's the punter. The Saints are too That's the punter. That's my undrafted for you. All right. Kevin, who you got? Who you got? Who you got? I'm gonna. So since he would be my most valuable player on the year, I will say Alvin Kamara. Oh, that's a good Yay! answer. Uh, are we? Uh, are you guys? I'm sad about Kamara. I worry that this is his last year. I'm worried about it. Like, I don't want. Like, uh, you don't need to worry about it because it's a fact. Oh. Kamara will not play with the Saints next year. Who this man? terms with the reality yeah, that right. players get old, yeah. and when you're a running back and you're 30, Kamara is in a contract situation where he's like, pay me the money, he's 30 years old, he's a running back, so obviously we need to get a guy, we need to, right now Kendra Miller is a question mark, so it's like, who, the, who behind him can step up to be the running back, That we don't have an answer to that yet, but as soon as we do, he's 30 years old. We should not be paying Alvin Kamara ten million dollars a year. What? Look into your heart. <laughs> Look into your heart. <laughs> uh, Ralph, Ralph, my heart is black. He's an analyst. <laughs> my, I'm not advocating. I'm just saying I hope Kamara puts Mickey Loomis in that situation. I'm not saying they should pay him. Absolutely, I'm with you. Just get like sixteen hundred and then we walk anyway. Sure. Yeah. The sure. Correct, the correct answer. <laughs> Probably like if I was a thoughtful person like Juge, yeah. I'd be like if Derek Carr. If Derek Carr is four thousand, forty five hundred yards, thirty five touchdowns, that would be fun. No, 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 no. I never talk like that. There's only, there's only one correct answer. That's not right. the intonation of my voice. And the correct answer is taste some fucking hill. Yeah. Player of the year. I, I 
might like give up a finger off my good my good hand. Now Jason made up this question off script just so we could talk about Jason Hill. I obviously just wanted to talk about Jason Hill. I did. Can I ask you a quick question? How does it resonate for you when Ralph talks about nerds in a disparaging manner? It's like, what, pot, ke kettle, black? I mean, I mean, I'm not a nerd because I don't know how to read. Ah, what? Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, you think he's making nerds candy, Jeff? Yeah, I thought he was... Oh, no, is that what you were going to do? No, 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 that's what Andrew was doing. No. no? Okay. Well, the thing's broken down. I guess. All right. All right. Are we getting back on... Are we getting back on track? Or we did trivia. All right, so I want audience questions. Do you have questions does for us? Andrew, does Andrew have a, we have a U.S. Open update? Uh, yeah. Anything at all? So, yeah, how's Seattle doing? Uh, uh, she got it for me. Down 4-3 in the second oh, set. Oh, man. On oh, man. So, I, don't, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and that is the appropriate <laughs> response. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is the appropriate yes, response to the tennis <laughs> question. <laughs> you got a football podcast. <laughs> So here's the thing. I will drink. I will drink. I will drink the brunch in a jar. I will brunch in a jar. That was good. It looks disgusting. I've had like three beers and Dr. McGillicuddy. I don't think this is going to agree with me. But I will drink. I will drink Ego brunch in a jar. Mr. Juge. You missed the juice, but the one condition is you gotta ask Andrew a question that won't matter. Is your uncle right now? Should be standing right now? Yeah. As Amy. Amy will do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna drink it anyway. Okay. Ralph, you feckless cow. Just kidding. My blood type is maple syrup. That's right. So come over here. If you have questions for the podcast, come over here and I'll give you the mic. If you have questions you want to ask, you can ask us anything. No, no, no. Hold the sure mic. You, you, you hold the mic in front of him. Yeah. That's, the, that's what you do. Oh, I no. thought you weren't supposed to point at that way. Well, it's a good price for a ticket to the game, because I heard the oh. game is the best price. It's a good game to buy. Yeah. yeah, you're not supposed what to point the, the microphone that way. The question was who had the best price for the ticket on the game. Is that it? Yeah, well, like, this is a game to go to. This is a game to go to. So who got the best price? Priceline? No. No. Well, I, I, I don't so understand. So 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 this, I mean, I, I'm giving you a technical answer. I don't know how fun this answer is, but this is a very soft ticket. And, and what, <laughs> I mean, what I mean, what I mean by that is that Carolina doesn't travel well. They're awful fans. Yes. And so, and part of it's because their team sucks, but also they don't travel they don't well. Travel. So this, like, if you want to go to a Saints game on the cheap, this is going to be one of the cheaper games to go to if you buy on the black market. Um, now, the worse the Saints get, I mean, he, that's the catch. Like, it, the more they lose, the easier it is to get a cheap price, the more they win, obviously. But Carolina fans are not going to make it competitive. Seat Geek, yes. Seat Geek, you can get them for $17. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you might want to pay 27 and sit far away from Ralph. So, so, like, so like Ralph said, local celebrity Nick Underhill uh, was here uh, about, about 10 minutes in the show, uh, scurried off uh, on a phone call. Breaking news! What do we think that phone call is about? Oh. What was that? Well, that was his phone. That was when he was. Uh, Spencer Rattler starting AB. I've got the. Um, Nick, hey, can you pick up half a loaf of money bread, a quarter <laughs> of <laughs> and some cinnamon, and you some French toast in the Stop hanging out at the fun podcast. I, I, I think it was actually no one on the other end of that line. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he told his he told his best friend to call him at seven ten. I will not do. I will not do. He pulls a cell phone away from his ear. Oh, it doesn't light up because it was dark. That's right. Now, right. next question. Anybody else got something else? Wait, can I can I get one? All right, you got one. What do you want? Jucifer. Who would be one player you want the Saints to score a touchdown? Wait, just for hilarity. Is Andrew going to the bathroom? He is. Yeah. Is he? Ah, it's just like a regular podcast. Is he going? He's sitting down. 
I'm drinking enough. it would be you, Dave. I'm drinking enough. I'm good. I'm drinking enough to kill a senior citizen, and I'm not even going to the bathroom. Come on. So who would be most fun? Who would be most fun to score a touchdown tomorrow? Tomorrow? I mean, gotta be. Oh yes, he's gonna play somebody on the defense. Somebody on the defense. Cam George. I think the funniest one is Brian Bercy because fat guy touchdowns are amazing. Kalen Saunders, he's like the he's like our big guy. Read the injury report, Dave. Jamal Williams to win seven nothing. Also acceptable. Uh, oh, honey badger. Here's the thing with Tyron Matthew. We really need to do a prayer circle for him and light some candles because. Safe safety, if you take him out, is really, it's not good. Like, we need a, we need a prayer circle, we need commitment, we need to keep him healthy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, other questions? He does. He does. Come on, What? You want to get? Ooh. Is that no Young game? versus Young. Who has more? Bryce Young touchdowns or Chase Young sacks? Is that like a DraftKings parlay or something? <laughs> yeah. Give him the Malort bottle. I mean, <laughs> we have 27 of those. Chicago. Chicago. We want young on young crime. Yeah. <laughs> young on young crime. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll say more sex. I, I was if I'll say Chase Young or. Uh, What's the other fella? Bryce. Bryce. Bryce, Bryce, Bryce throws one. Bryce throws one. Chase gets two. Bryce Young. Bryce Young is a oompa loompa. It very, very well could be a push. I could see a one. Don't, no, no, no. Situation. None of this coward shit. You get half sacks. Yeah, yeah, half, half sacks. sacks. I almost I'm said going to half. Okay. I'm going to go with that, Chase. Juge, Juge, the question from, from this uh, delightful fellow in the yellow jacket over there. Um, will Bryce Young have more touchdowns or will Chase Young have more sacks of Bryce Young? <laughs> Young. Oh, Bryce Young. Oh, Bryce Young. Yeah. <laughs> I love that young action. I, I, I love how <laughs> insulting that. I love how insulting that question is. Uh, I mean, I'm going with Chase Young. Fuck and it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Full sweep. Full sweep. Oh, we got a question. And both. This is the man, by the way, guys, that gave me brunch in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With the NFL going global, and tonight they're playing in Brazil. What would be the location where y'all would have a live show internationally? I have my answer. Malta final answer. Malta final answer. I'll go and I'll do it. The uh the sorry, sorry, Joe Boston. Oh, If we're out of questions, do we have any more ones of these? No. No questions? All right. Mr. Juge. Another sax another sax question. Okay. That's what I hear for you. Your family is very loud, so you can't hear your family, Mr. Juge. 
Tell me the question, I'll, I'll, I'll take it to the crowd. Um, okay, so uh, here's, here's the bet. It, will, will the Saints defense get more sacks, okay, than the number of times during a month when Andrew was a kid that, that I, I had a higher phone bill than Paul Oh, shit, this is a lot. This is a lot to take This is a lot to take This is a lot to take my rent or mortgage payment. I got it. 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 Okay, months of high and, and, and for, if, if we're on a Tuesday and I've had three cups of coffee and oh, it's, it's, it's 10 a.m., I'm not sure I process that question. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it in American dollars or communist French yeah. dollars? Yeah. Are, are, we, are we accounting for 976 numbers, sir? <laughs> so, so the joke is essentially that he, he wasted a lot of money on me calling people about the Saints. No, good investment. And what, what was the other thing? The Saints do what? Number of sacks. Number of sacks. This, yeah, you spent more money. So I've got, I'm, I'm thinking that. Sorry. So he said months, so I'm thinking four years. I'm thinking this. Age 14 to age 17. This. So make it 40 years, 12 months. Bro, bro, bro. There's no way to see if you're getting that many sacks. I don't trust Chase Young. Half a year. Half a year. 70 proof. Oh, that's not great. Half a year. 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 This egg on a jar? It smells oh, like maple syrup mixed with New Orleans water that you need to boil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, down we go. Down, go ahead. down the house. Mixed with New Orleans water, you need a boil. Any more questions? What was that on the cute meter? Yeah. Okay, field goal is this groupie kick. Hey. So if Tom Benson were alive, would Mickey Lewis be playing bad golf in Cabo on Sunday? Wow! 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 Another! How do you ask a question of a If Tom Benson was alive, would Mickey Loomis be playing bad golf, bad golf in Cabo, right? The, the, bad, the, the bad golf is that it sets a little editorializing that's uh, from, from the question well, asker. Dave uh, has made playing bad golf with Saints people a habit, so you you should answer this. <laughs> I was was he playing was he playing Casa de Campo? Was that like a <laughs> where was he? No, no. If Tom Benson were alive, yeah. he'd be in would, Cabo would, on would Sunday playing no. bad golf. No, no. He, he might be. No. no, he but, might. But I'm asking, was this was he was he spotted somewhere on a Sunday on the game? Here's oh, okay. the thing. I want to say I want to say, I want to say yes. I want to say yes. But I remember from my childhood when he fired Bill Coherick. After like the yeah. worst run the Saints have had had like fifteen Ever. years, he was Ever. like he was like I was so sad. It was so hard to fire him. He was like a son. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want to believe oh, wow. he would because that was that was was that also yesterday. towards the end of his life. There, was there, no there are documents, court documents that state that Tom Benson, on a regular basis, was rocking at dinner. There was raspberry sorbet and pinot noir. Like that was his dinner. That's every night. What? That's, that's living. 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 That's I will say no, not golfing in Cabo. He will still, still he will still be golfing at English Turn because he will be, he will have he will still have a place in town and he will be too underwater in it to actually sell it and leave. So he will stay in town. <laughs> all right, all right. 
No. <laughs> to answer the original question, no, I, I, I see where he's coming from here. No, I do not think that uh, yeah, he would be fine. out of the country sure. on a Sunday on a yeah. game day. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so not that Robert Kraft didn't fly no. the game. Right. No, but, and not that Miss wow. that Miss Gale isn't uh, a good owner and, and it isn't you know. Taking, taking care of business, she's, but you know, Mick, you know, Mickey and Lasha and Benzel, they're, they're, you know, they're running the show. Yeah. I'll say they're this, really I'll say this for, yeah. for, for Gail Benson, whatever you think of her, she's gonna, you, we need her to live to be like a hundred, because the next owner after her is gonna be some tech bro. Matt oh. Bauer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the technical, technical will be a, 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 a hedge fund or a We have any more, we have any more questions before we get to the best love, love update you've ever got? Uh, Fritz, Fritz, Fritz won the second set 6-5. Right, well, Don't ask him one more question. You know, you know, you know, 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 I, I, I have the most. What's the Saints line? Uh, three and a half. Four and a half. Saints by three and a half? Yeah. Wait, Tom, when That's you come, low. When you come to New Orleans, yeah, are you like a kid in a candy no. store, like on your phone, like on DraftKings? No, no. Are you like logging in on, like, no. like placing all these crazy no, bets before you fly I, back to? Uh, I would never cheat on Vinny. You know, I have a son. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's his name, really Vinny. Because Texas is a backwater. I have to gamble and meet a guy at a gas station and either give him an envelope of cash or he gives me an envelope of cash. Because Texas... When has Ralph has a winning bet, he gets shanked. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wait to the end of the season, you go every week? Every, like, every six months. You gotta pay him when you lose. You can't just be, I'll get you the day. Every time I watch you know the guy. I'm you the day. Day. You you All I want to do is sit on my couch and get drunk and gamble on my phone, but Texas won't let me. It's so sad. Uh, so, it's almost worth moving. Yes. Almost. I, my my wife would leave me though. I can't have it. You're who? My wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. We almost went the whole show without saying much. Well, you know what? You know, oh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Please. All right. So, of course, you know I don't dress myself. If you listen to the podcast, you know. This. So, his wife dressed. Well, oh my God! My not wife. Like, not, not, wife. not like she pulls the shirt over his head. Like uh, she picks up the shirt. Well, my outfit on the yeah. carpet the night before. So yeah. So yeah. she gets. She lays out all. She lays out all the clothes. Including the panties. I thought it was three options. Including the panties. That's right. Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 So she lays out all the clothes. Options. And she's like, okay, I gotta pack this suitcase. Max, go get your Darth Vader suitcase. And I was like, is Darth Vader's suitcase? I'm not a child. She's like, yeah, you are. I fucking dress you. <laughs> Using the Darth Vader suitcase. <laughs> So you traveled here with your Darth Vader suitcase. Yeah, I have a Darth Vader suitcase. You, you, checked, in, you checked in that Southwest uh, and went through security. Like putting over the edge, the bar of the Darth Vader suitcase. Do it! Do it! Do it! Is it, the one, is it the one that has a scooter attached and you can wheelie, you can right. scooter through so, the, the gate? Right. So, Kevin, give us a love update and I'll decide yeah, one. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, He's not the All right, so... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you know, Dave's butting in with something. Go ahead, Dave! I've been, I've been sitting on this the whole time. 
So, Ralph knows, Ralph knows this. Ralph knows this when Andrew does into this. So, oh. Ke Kevin, when did you get in? When did you get in? I got in uh, yes Thursday morning at like 10 a.m. So Kevin's been here since Thursday. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, it's right. Today's Friday. Sorry. Uh, Kevin's been here since yesterday. We have we have plans uh, to go to dinner tomorrow night. We're gonna go to dinner tomorrow night, and we've been talking about that on the text. And last night I came home from work, and I shortly thereafter left to go to Walgreens to get medicine for my daughter and to get uh, frozen pizza for dinner or whatever. And at seven o'clock ish, I walk into my house, take off, throw everything down, and walk past and turn the corner. And boom, there is Kevin in my wow. fucking house. Wow. In my house. Hey, Dave. And I said, what the fuck is going on? I, he was, came over uninvited. My wife and daughter are there. And he's like, I thought we were going to dinner tonight. He had the day wrong. He thought we were going to dinner last night. And he showed up at my house. And when he texted us asking for my address, it was because he was literally coming over there. And as we spoke, he, there he was on my staircase. In my, in my defense, in my defense, yesterday, 5.01 p.m., text message, Dave Cariello, making reservations for 7 p.m. at Costera. It's tapas, so it's themed for our podcast. And I wanted to go someplace where we could get a bunch of shit to share. Me, immediately after. Cool. Another text by me. Dave, can my mom drop me off at your place? She doesn't want to drive on the interstate anymore. Can my mom anymore. drop me off? <laughs> Dave, 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 saying 7 p.m. I'm thinking, okay, that's a little late for the reservation, but whatever. I initially was going to have my mom drop me at the restaurant on Pretania Street. So, right, I'm, I'm going to ask the most important question to you people of your entire life. What's more embarrassing? The Darth Vader suitcase or his mom dropping him off? Because I'm saying my mom while I'm going to Uber. Suitcase. So I took them out to dinner, we, said, we went out to eat. Come on. Uh, so you adjusted on the fly. I had to, I had to, I had to. And Eric, he's sitting there on that staircase with my wife and my daughter. Hey, Dave. But like now I knew, I knew how it felt when that woman broke into his apartment. I was like, this is something. This is something. Oh my God. Because I didn't go randomly mud, you know, rummaging through your kitchen yeah, looking for things. You should have. I just sat on the steps like, hey, how you doing? Oh, shit. No, Where are we going to dinner? The first, like, seriously, I turned the corner and he's on the staircase. And the, and the, no, he brought me home. We went and got right. dinner and then he dropped like, me home. Right, 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 right. the, the first thing I thought was like, I can't wait to tell this funny story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is all true. This is all true. So, I mean, Kevin, give us a love update. All right, give us a love update. Okay. So, love updates. Love updates are we're talking to some people on the apps. That's fine. It was a little bit difficult this past week because the things were no, because the things were going well. But, but then it's like, oh, I can't ask you to go out this weekend because I'm going back home. No. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Are you on the apps here in New Orleans? Or you come no, well, that was the other funny thing, is I'm so out of habit just, oh, I'm bored, let me hop on Bumble, or I'm bored, let me hop on Hinge, and you go through it for about a couple of swipes before you realize, oh, wait, these are all New Orleans people. It's gotta stop that, so I haven't been on the dating apps since, like, yesterday at, I don't know, noon. Hang on. We got, shit, what was my, uh, oh, so the, the question that I had, for, it was actually a question that I had for everybody on this love update, and I brought this up to Dave, to Juge, to Ralph, and they all thought it was a very dour question to ask, but I have to ask it anyway. I've noticed that most, and this one is primarily for the women in the audience, I've noticed that uh, most of the people that I get matched up with or, or show up on the, as an option, some of them are, I have kids, I don't want to have any more, or I don't want to have kids, period. I still want to have kids, and I'm 43, about to turn 44. At what age, at what age, 
At oh, what yeah, age yeah. should I get? Should I quote unquote give up the ghost and sort of abandon the idea of being a father? I'll go first. Never. Uh, you are always popping up kids at like seventy-five. <laughs> No, I, I've already done that. I've already done that. It's fine. I've been doing that. My, my dating age right? Mike, my... right. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. But, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, What I'm saying is I turned 44 in three days. At what point do I have to like, do I have to try and get it in my head that I'm not going to be a father? I've never heard a person say that who's right in front of me. I'm trying to get her. What's the answer? Alan, you come up here too. I want to hear you. He's an old dad. This guy is old and he's a dad. Yes, sir. I'm a little older than a nine year old. And I'm 56. But here's my answer to you. So 44. Okay. But no, here's my answer to you. So if Bill Belichick is dating a 25 year old, you're going to have him quit? That's right. Will be, yes. Will be 44. Yes, sir. In 20 years. Yes, sir. You'll be 64. Correct. At your kid's high school graduation. No, 20. 20 years from now. Right. Yeah. You'll be at your son or daughter's high school graduation. 64 years old. Yeah. Right. No, they would be eight. No, 18 is when they would graduate high school. So, so No problem with that. I have friends who have kids that right. are in that are my age. Right. That's you what I'm no saying. That. That's what I'm saying is if I wanted to retire, if I'm going to retire at say 67. You're not retired. Right. So that's all you have to worry about. You just want a child. You want an heir. You want a son to play with. You want a daughter to play with. Yeah. It doesn't matter how okay. old you are. Okay. Yeah. So the okay. consensus seems to be keep at it. Keep at it. Oh, I don't know. 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 Oh, I She was yeah. born, my grandfather was 52. Woo! President of the United so States, Zachary it. Taylor, he yeah. had a kid who was 75. <laughs> so, based on that, I think you got eight years. <laughs> 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 oh, so, wait, we also. Okay. We also got. Wait, Ralph. We also. Wait, is this for. One more. One more. One more. One more. My wife says. 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 My
the rough life. And now you are for the Well, no, no, you heard it. There is nothing to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm occasionally hanging out with the nurse that I was seeing like a couple of years ago. Oh, oh, yeah. We both know. We both know what the score is. We both know what the score is. It's literally like when he says both, he needs everyone in the No, no, no. I so here's exactly. the thing. How long did you bite the bullet into your shoe? Huge agreed to go. Bad scene with me on the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 That's some bad shit right there. Ralph, I'm not drinking yet. Oh, Jude. Oh, Jude. Yeah, he's got it. I'm drunk. 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 I'm
you can't be a family. I mean, step into the shoes right. You gotta start with that before you become a family man. That cement mixer was the grossest thing I've ever heard. So that's a gift from me and Andrew and Ryan. That's the I didn't know. I thought a cement mixer was like a cute term. I didn't realize it literally turned into fucking cement. It's not just a clever name. Is that liquid, bro? Alright, you know, cement mixer. Let's say, we can. We're gonna wrap this up, but I want to. I, I need a couple predictions on the Saints game before we leave. What? Uh, Alan, give me a Saints prediction. Me? Yeah, yeah you. Score. Um, 20, 13. Uh, Saints, Saints, Saints win? 2013. 2013. Alright, Errol, what you got? I'm more on the I'm more in the Ralph camp. I'm I'm like there we go. I'm praying for like you know huge blowout Death win. Numbers. Uh, <laughs> All right, what you got? Oh, 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 yeah, that's thirty-four. Right in your hand. Thirty-four that's seconds. Right. You're not joking. Twenty-eight seven. Twenty-eight twenty-one. Saints. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, you got a hand up. I don't know if that was accidental. Saints twenty-two. 15. 22. 30. Thank you guys. This is meant so. This means so much to me. I love these. I love these three assholes. And listen, it means so much to me that you guys have supported us. And you can support any Saints podcast you want, but for me personally, like this has been a rough ass year for me. And I've been looking forward to this so much tonight. And it has lived up to my dreams. Here comes the booze. The booze is talking. The booze is talking. I just want to say, it means a lot to me. This is my favorite night of the year, and the Saints are going 11 and 6. I said it! I said it!